Happy Mother's Day, Mum. There's my mum sitting there with uh, four of her children. Ronnie's on the left. That's me. Then there's Barbara. And mum is nursing Heather. And my other sister, the older sister, is Janine. And this is the photograph of, that she took, that got took when I was just little. Well, good morning, folks. Ron Bishop here, Timaru, New Zealand. Hey, what's today? It's the uh, 11th today, Sunday, the 11th of May, which is Mother's Day. Most important day of the year. Every one of us has a mother. And I reckon I had the best mother in the world. I didn't appreciate her at the time, but I certainly do now, when I think of all the things that she did for me. She got me my first job when I left school. Um, she made sure that I had a good education. She did everything for me. But she didn't just do things for me. She had seven children, uh, and she brought us all up. And um, she was a wonderful mother. When she retired, or when she got uh, her and her, um, my dad, they both retired and, and to Mount Manganui. They built a house in Mount Manganui. I lent mum some money to buy the house because uh, they didn't have a lot of money. And I was shearing sheep at the time in Australia. And she wrote to me and said, could you... Um, uh, could we borrow some money off you, Ron, because we want to get a deposit on this retirement home. So I gave her the money. I didn't even think twice about it. But when she died, she left the money back to me. And it was only, it was only I don't know how much it was, but it was only about £600 or something like that. It wasn't a lot of money. But she made sure that I got the money back when she died. Now, when she died, before she died, she be, she became... And what is known as the Sunshine Lady. She used to go around all the uh, homes in the Mount Manganui where we lived and she'd call on all the elderly people and she'd uh, read the newspaper to them or go to the shops and buy some uh, the groceries for them. But Mum had a wonderful smile. She was a big lady, uh, but always had a wonderful smile. And they called her the Sunshine Lady because every time she went in to a house... She'd bring so much sunshine. Everything was positive with mum. There was never a negative thought went ever through her mind. And she had a pretty hard life because her, her husband was a bit of a gambler and a drinker. Uh, but she got through it all and she, she, she died. And I remember when she died, she, um, she rang me up and said um, she was going into hospital. And um, so I went up to see her. Uh, she'd lost... I think they took her leg off or something because she got cancer. She got cancer and, and, and they, they took her leg off um, and, and she died of cancer. And I remember she was a big lady, uh, but when I went to see her in hospital, in the Tauranga Hospital, she was so frail and so small, I couldn't believe it was my mum. Um, and I said to mum, I could see I was losing all the, all the love of history about my life. I wanted to know who I was and... And I started asking her questions about who Uncle Kit was and who Uncle so-and-so was and Auntie Hethel and who all these people were. And um, she said to me, Ronnie, I've been trying to tell you these things all your life, but you'd never, ever listen. And she's right. I wouldn't listen. When I was a young fellow, I was more interested in girls and parties and all sorts of stuff, rugby. I wasn't interested in my mother, what my mother had to tell me about her family. But that's one thing I regret. I never stopped and listened. I never listened to mum. And she did so much for me, but I never listened to her. One of the great things mum did for me was she taught, she introduced me to Christianity. Mum was a, had a very strong faith. She uh, struggled all her life, um, all her married life, with shortage of money because uh, there wasn't a lot of money coming in, and I used to listen to Mum praying at night. She'd go into her room and she'd pray, uh, and she had a very strong faith. And she made sure that all us kids went to Sunday school and, and learnt the basics of Christianity. Um, 
yeah, she was, she was, I'm very grateful to my mother for teaching me about the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I, I became a Christian about 30 odd years ago. Um, and I wouldn't have been a Christian only for my mother who gave me the grounding and taught me about God. And she's, um, she was a wonderful lady. A couple of years ago, I decided to do videos. Um, I, uh, every, every Sunday, I do a Sunday sermon. I've got over 800, 884 videos online. And many of those are Sunday sermons, because every Sunday, uh, I do a Sunday sermon. And today, uh, my Sunday sermon is about Mother's Day and about mothers. And um, I'm going with my wife, uh, my son, uh, uh, my stepson and his partner have invited us down to their place to have lunch for Mother's Day. And that'll be good. Pardon me. Now, I, as a, some of you may have heard my other videos, I've got cancer. I've been told I haven't got long to live. Um, and I've I pray about it every day. I pray every day that, that I'll, God's given me another day of life. And um, well, I can only live one day at a time. And mum did the same. She got cancer um, and she lived one day at a time. But she was always happy, Had a, always had a smile on her face. Because it's not the length of life that you have, it's the quality of life. So you've got to make every day a winner. And uh, I believe I can beat this cancer because I'm... I'm a positive thinker. Um, and a tall neighbor told me the other day, she said, Ron, you're not going to die. She said, you're a positive thinker. You're Mr. Positive Thinking, man. You, you, you preach about it all the time, and, and it's true. And, I, and that's all I've got left. It's my positive thinking, but I've also got God. I've also got Jesus in my life, right? Because I asked Jesus to come into my life. And the Bible says, whatever you ask, in Jesus' name, you can have, right? So I asked Jesus every day for another day of life. I don't know how many days he's going to give me, but I ask him for another day of life, right? So if you, you've got a mother, we've all got mothers, everyone's got a mother, why don't you go to your mother now? Why don't you go and give her a kiss? Give her a huddle, cuddle. You won't, she won't always have her, right? If she's still alive, you won't always have her. You won't be able to give her a cuddle. I would love to go and give my mother a cuddle, but she's not here. She's dead now, right? And and we don't realize this. We miss these people until they're dead. And, um, yep. So, Mum, wherever you are in heaven, I, I'm coming up to see you. Uh, uh, I've got a free ticket to heaven because I know you're in heaven and I'm coming to heaven too. So I'll be able to see you. I'll be able to see my... Sister Heather, who died of epilepsy, she'll be there. Uh, and my other brother will be there, uh, young Kevin. Uh, he, he's the, he was the youngest boy. Uh, he died of leukemia. So I'm going to be seeing Kevin. And I'm going to be seeing Trevor. Now, Trevor was my other young brother, uh, which I actually shot with a rifle. Uh, uh, we were having a target practice around the house and I accidentally shot my brother because he ran in the line of fire. So I'm going to see him in heaven. He's going to be in heaven. See, God knows when I'm going to die. He's the only one who knows when I'm going to die. And he knows my, my whole life story. And whatever happened to me with the lo losing of my brothers and sisters and my mother and father and all that, God knew what he was doing. He, his, his timing is always right. We can't live forever. Right, but what we can do is is learn from our elders, learn from our mother, learn from our father, listen to what they say. Okay, if you're a teenager listening to this, listen to your mother and father. Something I never did, but you can do it. Just change your attitude. Say, well, I'm going to love my mother. I'm going to love my father. So go and give your mother a big kiss if she's still alive today. Hey, listen, I love you all. That's my sermon today. It's, it's Mother's Day. My Sunday sermon, which I do every day, uh, Mother's Day.
Happy Mother's Day, Mum, all the mums in the world. Happy Mother's Day. Okay? And listen, I'll see you back again on Father's Day. Now I'll be here every day because every day I do a video. So till tomorrow then, bye-bye and have a good Mother's Day. Okay? Bye-bye.